Hey everyone, welcome. In this video we look at an independent article that says President Trump, the God Emperor, said to inject or drink disinfectant to cure the lurgy. Now this is an out and out blatant lie being run by all the West media. So we will read this article, then look at what Trump actually said, and you will see the lies. And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Rotten politics in this country at the moment. I now have lost all confidence in either of the two main parties. Lamestream media are a joke in my opinion. Now the article is titled Disinfectant Gate. I know right, so imaginative the title isn't it? <laughs> Disinfectant Gate brings us full circle from keeping your doctor to Trump shunning them. Let's read this gutter clamp it's verbal crying session shall we? <laughs> Analysis conservatives hammered Bar Barack Obama over keeping their doctors. Now Donald Trump floats trial balloons that his must quickly pop. Okay, I'll let you work that one out because I'm lost. <laughs> American politics officially has gone full circle in 12 years that often have felt like double that. Oh, here we go. You can tell he's, he's, he's already in full crying mode, isn't he? <laughs> he's not even started yet. What's he called? John T. Bennett from Washington. Oh, might have guessed. The United States a decade ago had a black president, Barack Obama, in the White House who was accused by Republicans of lying to them about being able to keep their doctor under a health care reform plan known as Obamacare that he later signed into law. The United States today again has a white president, Donald Trump, in the White House, who Democrats say caters to white nationalists and on Jesus Christ. And on Thursday night suggested Americans put disinfectant into their bodies via injection to kill the lurge, a trial balloon immediately rejected by doctors, even the ones trying to advise him on the lurge crisis. Now, first off, he did never he never said disinfectant via injection. Should we have a quick look what he actually said? A question that probably some of you are thinking of, if you're totally into that world which I find to be very interesting so supposedly when we hit the body with a tremendous whether it's an ultraviolet or just very powerful light and I think you said that hasn't been checked but you're going to test it now that's coming from um, scientists saying that UV light might actually be a benefit to, ki to killing the lurge i.e. sunlight etc and he's basically saying there, we need to look into that. It's, it, there's nothing wrong with that so far. And then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body, which you can do either through the skin or in some other way. That sounds like fi science fiction, doesn't it? But there is actually something um, being tested at the minute that would actually do exactly that. I saw it on Twitter, but I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have another look before I uh, put this video out. And then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that by injection inside or almost a cleaning because you see it gets in the lungs and it does a tremendous number on the lungs. So it'd be interesting to check that so that you're going to have to use medical doctors with. But it sounds interesting to me, so we'll see. But the whole concept of the light, the way that it kills it in one minute, that's pretty powerful, Steve, please. So as you can tell, he's never actually said everyone should drink in disinfectant or inject it. He's basically saying, he's basically brainstorming storming is he not is he not just doing a verbal brainstorm see this is the problem with the media he what trump does is if he thinks something he says it whether it's wacky or not to be honest i don't see as a problem with that we used to have brainstorming as a regular occurrence because it brought out good ideas is that not what you would want from a pre president to be honest <laughs> Well, we'll continue. If you like the plan you have, you can keep it. If you like the doctor you have, you can keep your doctor too. Then President Obama said in June 2009, and he and House Democrats worked on the Affordable Care Act. Nearly 11 years later, it was not the cerebral and methodical 44th president. Cerebral and methodical. Oh, yeah. Should we have a look at how cerebral and methodical this man actually was? What exactly did Obama do? Let's work it out. So, one of the things he was accused of was weaponizing the government's IRS system against conservatives. He was basically sending the tax man against just conservatives. That was over a two year period. Basically victimization. He personally ordered, let's have a look, 542 drone strikes that killed an estimated 3,797 people, including, you ready? 324 civilians. He said to a senior aide, turns out I'm really good at killing people, didn't know that would be a strong suit of mine. And lastly, what else can we find? Oh yeah, he tried to shut Guantanamo Bay you know the place where they detain terrorists but he was stopped by senate so instead of 
shutting it down, he just released them all. Out of the re released prisoners, approximately 50% is estimated went back to fight Americans for ISIS. That's just to name a few, by the way. If you lot can think of any more, let me know in the comments, please. I'd love to know more. <laughs> but we'll continue. Great president, wasn't he? 44th president guiding the country through another crisis, but the impulsive and aggrieved 45th. So this guy's obviously a Democrat that hates Trump. It's Orange Man bad, isn't it, again? Orange Man bad, Whee! <laughs> One critique of Mr. Obama's presidency was that he was a warmonger, sorry, um, it was his tendency to listen too much and to think too much. He chewed over big decisions and often appeared reluctant to make the final call. You know why that was? He was asking Michael, <laughs> Michael, Michael, sir, I need to know whether I can do this or not. Michael's gone, yeah, of course you can. <laughs> Mr. Trump is the polar opposite. Where Mr. Obama would bring in experts from inside the government, academia and private sector, what he basically means there is him, <laughs> before making a policy decision or public announcement. So Obama couldn't make his own decisions, but he managed to make three of the worst ones in American history. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Or public announcement, Mr. Trump goes with his gut. And he's been right so far, has he not? <laughs> See, this is all Trump's bad. They've not actually put him down to anything that's actually is bad, is it? It's just, look, he's a bad guy. I Why? Because I'm telling you. <laughs> Thursday night's White House Lurgy press conference was the final stretch of concrete. Mr. Trump likes to remind everyone he's a builder after all. In America's circular political highway. Well he is. He's rebuilding. He's rebuilding the USA, is he not? MAGA! Trump 2020! <laughs> Make America great again and Trump is doing his best to do that. If you were in control of the, the Democrats right now, you would be knackered. <laughs> For all my American viewers, if you don't know what knackered means, it means Foo bad, <laughs> to use one of your terms. The president poured the final section himself. It did not appear planned, rather the circle completed. To borrow a phrase from Dr. Dave Eggers' 2013 dystopian novel, The Circle, when Mr. Trump heard a single word. Ironically, it came from the mouth of an official. No, yet another acting one from the Department of Homeland Security. So this is just them trying to totally discredit everything about the government that they've got at the minute so that they can hopefully swing more people over to the 2020 Democrat, the man himself, Joe, touchy-feely, smelly-smelly, don't worry about me too, Biden. <laughs> Good luck with that. Of all agencies who were summoned to the James S. Brady briefing room to discuss a study commissioned, it appeared to justify the president's previous claims that, as Vice President Mike Pence diplomatically put it Thursday evening, heat and sunlight heat and sunlight could end the pandemic outbreak in the USA. So there, there's the proof. Isn't it? Is it not? They're actually saying heat and sunlight might be the the, the, the thing that can break us out of this deadlock that we seem to have found ourselves in. And he's just brainstorming, is there a way to get that sunlight into a body? Was he not? And they've just jumped on it going, well, he's saying we should all drink disinfectant and inject ourselves with disinfectant. No, that's not what he said at all. We are also testing disinfectants readily available. See... We have tested bleach, we have tested isopril, alcohol and the virus, specifically in saliva and respiratory fluids. So he's talking about surface lurger at this point, is he not? In saliva or respiratory fluids, so i.e. when you cough or sneeze and it hits surfaces and stays there. This is what he's talking about when he's talking about the disinfectants. I can tell you that bleach will kill the virus in five minutes. Isopril, propyl, alcohol will kill the virus in 30 seconds and that is with no manipulation, no rubbing, just spraying it on and leaving it to go. William Bryan, the acting DHS official said, if it was not clear to anyone listening, including the president, who was standing mere feet away, that Mr. Bryan was describing applying such cleaning formulas to a surface that had been contaminated with Lurgy after a human had, had ejected it onto said surface. His next utterance should have. You rub it in and it goes away even faster. We are also looking at other disinfectants, specifically looking at the Lurgy virus in saliva. So they're trying to figure out how potent it is in saliva and how long it would last on the surfaces for, I get from that. But not this guy. It turns out Mr. Trump, who has zero medical training, is two. And you have how much medical training, exactly? None. You're a journalist. So you're basically pot-calling kettle, are you not? Mr. Trump's listening to medical-trained personnel, is he not? Are you? 
or you're just spouting your hatred? I think it's probably the latter. And then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute. One minute. And is there a way we could do something like that by injection inside or almost a cleaning? Because you see, it gets into the lungs and it has a tremendous, it does a tremendous number. So what he's basically doing is brainstorming, isn't he? He's, he's just come up with a thought in his head. I wondered if you could do this. He's not saying he's got medical training. He's just saying, is that possible? And they've jumped on it like, oh, he's such a bad man. He then instructed his top public health officials, including Lurgy Task Force member Deborah Burks, a physician who sat statuesque nearby as the president suggested Lysol or 409 injections as Lurgy treatments to check that. I'm not too sure what either of those are, but I will look into that for the next video and I'll let you know. Right, from what I can tell, 409 injection is an Ivermec injection which is basically for animal use and it states it's a parasiticide for the treatment and control of internal and external parasites of cattle and swine so you can understand his thought process on that can't see if that would work or not but I mean who knows at this point does anyone? Mr. Trump then again tried to portray himself as something of a m medical and scientific savant. Oh, savant. Oh, he has done the same with four star officers he once referred to as my generals by replacing those who questioned his impulsive foreign and national security policy ideas with loyalists. No, what he actually did was get rid of the warmongers. Because he, he isn't a warmonger, is he? Whereas Obama was wasn't it jesus these people they have a go at trump for doing exactly the same as they've they've been doing their entire lives it's ridiculous <laughs> but he's gonna crush them in the 2020 elections it's just gonna be glorious i can't wait for the i can't wait for the debates it'd be brilliant imagine biden on a stand next to trump you got trump with his brain working like that and then you got biden going that thing you know that that, you know that thing <laughs> it's gonna be oh it's gonna be glorious get your popcorn ready <laughs> what we see is yet another attempt by the white house to minimize the damage from one of the most eyebrow raising moments of the trump term president trump has repeatedly said that americans should consult with medical doctors regarding lurgy treatment a point that he emphasized again during yesterday's briefing new white new white house press secretary kaylee mckenney said in a friday morning statement leave it to the media to irresponsibly take president trump out of context and run with negative headlines it's not taken out of context they're basically lying they've twisted it and framed it so that he he was basically made out to look like a terrible person when all he was doing is just brainstorming on camera is this not what we want our leaders to do to to suddenly come up with other ideas on the fly always going i think that's a, a an admirable quality that trump's got i just hope boris is the same the president did say later in the briefing as astonished reporters sought clarification it would be through injections you're talking about almost a cleaning sterilization of an area he asked mr bryant who replied right so what is what I get from this, to be honest, is Trump's been brainstorming, the media are sat there waiting for him to say anything that they can reframe into a different light to make him look terrible. Because they know for a fact, and these are all Democrats, we know they're all Democrats, just like all of our media are Labour. They know for a fact the person they've got at the top of the chain, the one that's going to be fighting him, has not got a, a chance against trump in a debate and they're looking for a way to slander him and smear him well before it gets to the debates well i think it's too little too late to be honest i think trump's gonna smash it now i think this all of this crap that they keep coming out and all of these lies that they keep coming out with is only gonna force more and more moderate americans which is who votes people in whether they like to admit it or not moderate americans to vote for trump because love him or hate his personality that man gets things done does he not but anyway i would like to know what you think i would like to know what you uh, know about obama's amazing presidency because i can guarantee there's a lot more things than just three i mean i picked out three that i could find that were quite pertinent in my opinion in regards to he was no nice president in fact a lot of people that i've spoken to said he's probably one of the worst but not to this reporter, obviously. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon. If you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit like and share it out for me. That would be amazing. And I'll see you on the next one. And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics.